All right, today I'm going to show you how to use Mr. Coffee Coffee Maker. Right here, I have a Mr. Coffee Coffee Maker, and I'm just going to go over some basic instructions, all right, on how to use this. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and open up the lid of the coffee maker. Now, you want to make sure that the coffee maker is off and not in use because you don't want to burn yourself. So it's off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the filter. There's a filter right here. And so what I'm going to do is make sure that this is in place right here in the filter cup and make sure that this arm right here is pushed backwards right here because you want to add coffee to this filter right here. This right here, it actually pours the water on top of the coffee, making the drip brew. And we'll get to that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that backwards like that. And then I'm going to take my coffee. This is my coffee. I have ground coffee right here. And I'm just going to put some spoonfuls in here. All right, you want to read the instruction manual on your coffee maker so you know how to, to put the coffee in. So I'm going to put in, usually I put in like three to four rounded spoonfuls of this. I like my coffee strong, so that's what I do. So I have this in here. So I have about three or four full spo uh, spoonfuls of the coffee in there. And then what I do is I go ahead and take this right here. This is the coffee uh, craft or whatever you call it. Uh, that the coffee is going to drip into. And so depending on how much coffee you want, you want to go ahead and fill it up on here. There's uh, levels to this. All right, so right here, it goes up to 12 cups of coffee up here. I'm going to make a 12 cup of coffee, a full thing. So I'm going to fill this up with water. So I come over here and I get my nice, uh, polluted water from out of uh, the tap right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. And I said I'm going to go all the way to 12. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it past 11. And I'm going to go all the way to 12. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put it up. I want 12 cups of coffee in here. Thirsty this morning. So once I fill that up, I'm just going to come over here and lift up the lid. And there is a back compartment of here. And this is where the water goes in here. Let me show you a little bit. So that's where the water goes into, in the back right there. So what I'm going to do is, remember this arm? I'm going to make sure that this arm is not over here. Make sure that it's on top of the coffee right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the water and then pour it into the back right here. All 12 cups. And then that's how much I want to make. And then once that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and take this into place and put this down right here. And then I'm going to come over here and then I'm going, we're going to get down here so you can see this a little bit better. So right here, there are controls on here. All right, there's a timer setting. I'm not going to go over the timer setting, but you can make the timer so the coffee goes off at a certain time in the morning so it's ready for when you break up, but I'm not going to do that. So they have that. They have the brew later right here, so you can press that. And then right here, you can go ahead and set the timer for what time you want it to brew. You want it to brew at 3 a.m., you go ahead and do that. You can actually change the minute. All right, you can do that. And so I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to brew later, I want to brew now, okay? But in order for the brew later to work, you have to go ahead and set the timer, the time of whatever time it is of the day that it currently is. So you can do that by adjusting this right here, the minute to the time, and then you can do the brew later feature, so you can brew it later, that's what you can do. All right, you by pressing that, and then go ahead and setting the time that you want it to brew. After you've gone ahead and put the water and the coffee in there, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going to turn that feature off. I'm going to go to the brew now feature. So that's right here. So I already have my coffee in there. I already have the water back there. So I'm going to go to the brew now feature and I'm going to go ahead and press that. All right. And so when I press that, the brew now feature has been activated and we're going to get down and you're going to see in a few moments that the coffee is dripping inside of this right here. So you're going to have that in there, have the coffee at the top. I have that going on right there. And then I'm gonna just kinda gonna come down here and we're gonna watch this brew. All right, we're gonna watch the coffee brew inside of here. And you can hear it almost. You can hear it starting to steam. Now I'm raising this up and you're not supposed to raise this up. You're supposed to keep it closed, but look at what's happening in there. Look at the action that is happening in here. That's actioning, jacksoning right there. I'm getting closer so you can see. Look at that. Coffee is starting to drip down in here. Look at the drip, my drip. Look at that. It's dripping there, that's hot water dripping, and it's time to percolate 
all the way down into the coffee craft right here. Now, I'm giving you just brief instructions. This does not replace your duty to read and follow the owner's manual instructions because it's important that you follow this part correctly so you know exactly what you're doing. I'm just giving you my opinion on how to make the coffee using the Mr. Coffee Coffee Maker. So you can go, just have a guide, but you need to read the owner's manual and follow that. But you can see right here that the coffee, the coffee is actually dripping in there. That's hot piping water dripping down on top of the coffee rinds right there. And what's happening is it's coming down in here into the bottom of the craft right here. All right, so we're going to, I'm going to cut away and then I'm going to come back and you'll see that the coffee has dripped all the way down in there. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, and after it is done, you just simply come down here. The coffee is made. Now, one thing to note, if you put 12 cups in here, it actually comes up a little bit less because a lot of it has evaporated. A lot of the water has evaporated or some of it has been, oh, oh, do not lift this because water can spray out and you can possibly burn yourself, okay? Please do not lift this cap up, okay, until it, you turn the coffee maker off to the brew now function is off right there. Do you see that? Do not open this up. That's a no, no. All right, so you can see right here, it's just slightly less than 12 cups. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this off and pour me up a nice cup of brew. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that. Look at that. You see that? And that is how you use a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching.